Day 14, fuck the stats. I'm back, Tim's not here today, so I'm joined by Georgie, who is from Women's Cricket Chat, hence why I'm wearing this fantastic beanie. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm fab. I, I think you're really rocking it, actually. One of the best. Definitely yeah. my colours. Yeah. Definitely my colours. So, you may not know, or as I've just informed you off camera and off microphone, that we don't do stats around here. It's all right. And if, we, anyway. <laughs> and if we do stats, and we do mention stats about cricket, then there's a forfeit. But the great thing about you being here, and Tim not being here, is if you mention stats, Tim has to do a forfeit. Oh, okay, right. Let me think of some more stats, right? <laughs> Tim and I have never even met, and I'm going to make him do hundreds of forfeits. So I think you've, you've Instagrammed DMs, that's enough. It's practically best mates from these That days. is, yeah. That's what I like to say about my dating life. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> so, Tim, tomorrow on the podcast, if you mention stats, he is going to have to wear an India top, but let's get down to business. Dil, Dil, Pakistan. Yes, the boys, we're riding a wave. It's vibesy. It's just like 1992. What's going on? What do you want to talk about? Okay, for those who are really unsure what we're on about with the Dil, Dil, Pakistan, all I've done all day is sing Dil, Dil, Pakistan. <laughs> so I made the middle class trip to MS. Other shops are available. <laughs> to buy some dill dill, and actually, I'm gonna put together some kind of dill recipe today because I can't look at dill in a shop without singing it. And the world of Clapham Junction today must have been looking at me like, what is that girl doing? She's just tied her dog at the door in the shop, dog named Tuffers for a reason. Fantastic. And she's now singing at the herb section, are you okay, hun? So, <laughs> <laughs> probably not. But anyway, the dill dill is ready and there will be a recipe coming later. Bit of a shame um, that nobody joined in really, because had I seen you, I would have joined in singing dill dill Pakistan. It's been in my head like you all day. Um, and I kind of wish I was in Sydney right now because I can, I can only imagine the scenes going on at the moment. Okay, so I'm thinking some kind of like dill cocktails, you know, you've got your dill pickle, or your dill dills. And honestly, uh, rumours, I did say this earlier, rumours that dill sales in Melbourne have gone through the roof ahead <laughs> of the final. Getting ready for it. Yeah. I've, uh, actually, I did my research, shockingly. Don't need confetti anymore, <laughs> just dill it everywhere! Shockingly, I did my research for this um, and those who listen lots will know that I don't often do that, but apparently it means my heart, oh. Pakistan, my heart, that's which is really nice. If that's wrong, let me know in the comments, but I'm pretty sure that's right. But anyway, back to the water day. So excited for Pakistan. Rizzy and Bubba are doing it. Are Pakistan just timing this at the right time? Yeah, you know what? It's one of those like come in quietly through the back door and then just explode everywhere. And <laughs> we've got to remember, yeah, don't know about that one. <laughs> anyway, moving on. <laughs> That's a story for another yeah, time, perhaps. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's one of those, you know, they've done it quietly. There was, the other team that were going along quietly was South Africa, and then they went home, so that was a bizarre one. We've got to remember that this Pakistan team lost to Zimbabwe. Oh, yes. Literally, course. what, four or five days? I have no idea. I don't even know what day it is today anymore. I don't know. But they lost to them, and now they're in the final. And... It's, it, either way, it's going to be insane. Whether they play England or India, it's yeah. going to be absolute madness. Well, my worst case scenario is India being in the final, regardless. That's just... Okay, that's good. Just, yeah, that's and I'm mean, going to put my hand up and say, I agree. I just really don't want any more death threats, please. <laughs> yeah. And I don't need to go and work in a shop. I'm good at being a journalist, so please don't yeah, well, tell do, me Yeah, do, do you want to explain that to people listening? Because obviously Delta fans might not be aware of your work. And uh, Stay away from cricket Twitter. I've actually set myself an alarm on my phone. I don't alarm mum's birthday, whatever. If I forget that, I forget that. But this, it says, do not tweet about Indian cricket basically all day tomorrow, which I probably will anyway, and then I have to mute it. But basically the other day I was like, oh, you know, we got over the whole man situation. <laughs> Just about, let's not mention those. Run out at non-strikers, sorry. And I was like, oh, you know, I think I said something along the lines of um, rain and slippery ground doing its best to push run out of the non-strikers off top, top spot for controversial talking points. Okay, you know, I didn't say India are rubbish, I didn't say someone else was better than them, I, I kept it neutral. And, oh, the world of cricket Twitter, Indian cricket Twitter went for me, and I'm not a worthy sports journalist. I should go work in a shop instead. I should be dead. Um, I mentioned you know they were like the pitch is covered and I was like you know I actually never mentioned the pitch and then the great part of it though I incited this conversation and actually they all just proved my point it's the controversial talking point now so go. who is the winner 
Yeah. Me? Yeah. And that's Hopefully tough. not India. That's tough, because I always find when we get slagged off in DMs, and it's usually by Australians, we try and like, go back a little bit. Like, give them a bit more, because people don't expect it. Mm. So just go back a bit. Mm. And then sometimes they shut up. Sometimes they go back again. Sometimes they wait until opportune moments to message you back in cricket games. Um, so you leave yourself open to it. But that's the fun of being online, isn't it? Especially being a woman as well, talking about oh, cricket. Yeah, that's yeah, a fun so. one too, but yeah, it doesn't yeah. matter. Who cares? We're going to be India... Tomorrow. Yes, we are going to be in India tomorrow. So it's fine. It's fine. It's absolutely fine. And, and speaking of women, everyone's mum's favourite team, New Zealand. Mm. Do you feel sorry for them, or are you just so emotionless towards there? No, I mean, actually. Yes, I mean I, I'm not a mum, but I feel like <laughs> a mother to this team, you know. But mate, they didn't lose in a final. That's you know? nice, isn't so it? They, didn't, they weren't the nearly people this time. They were the nearly nearlies. So actually, like. It's Bit, bit changed. What would that be? So, so they're always the bridesmaid, but in this instance, they're probably not even that. They're probably just like the one, the one mate who is too loose to be a bridesmaid. Yes, no. we've all been that. Right. Yes. Untrustworthy. Mm, yeah. Mm. Or the getting it wrong is the person who goes in with the attitude of getting it wrong <laughs> is getting it right. <laughs> So yeah, yeah, unlucky Kane. Um, I guess better luck next time. But you've, they've got the World Test Championship, haven't they? And I think New Zealanders are such a mindset that they think that's something and to hold on what? to. Like they're going to go home, and the sheep are going to forgive them either way. <laughs> so it's fine. Yeah, absolutely fine. Um, anything else you want to say about Pakistan's great victory? Oh, okay. So I know I wake up this morning, I haven't even had my caffeine yet. Turn it on the radio, and there's a four. There's a given out, and then reprieve and then a wicket and I was like honestly I can't take this I haven't even had caffeine yet and there's so much going on <laughs> and then I set off to walk the dog and mum decides to ring me in the middle of the innings and suddenly there's still so much more going on and it's quite hard to keep up because it is it's pretty quick it changes quite fast and then you're like but you get to the end of the game you're like wait so what happened again especially when there's like two there's been two games in a day I've been like I have found that with this World Cup because it's in Australia and the timing of it. Almost like, and we always do these podcasts like two, three o'clock in the afternoon and everything feels like a blur. And either I come into it really energetic and delirious and talking complete nonsense or I come... Delirious! <laughs> deal, deal. Stop. Uh, that's right. <laughs> either I come into it like that or I come into it just a bit low on juice because I'm tired. Because mm. it's, it's a lot to process first thing in the morning, T20 cricket. Yes, I've been drinking a hell of a lot of the cricket coffee, company coffee. Oh, and it's is that it's really uh, good? No, stuff. no free shout outs, but if you want no, to give a free shout out. But actually, it's really good stuff. I've been drinking the Joss Butler one lately, and then I've got the Christmas one ready, but I was hung over the so other day, and one of the tones of it is whiny, and I actually looked at it and sort of vomed a bit in my mouth and was like, hmm, maybe not, just not for today, but maybe when it comes to Christmas. <laughs> yeah, good coffee. <laughs> right, well, there you go. Uh, what is it? Cricket, the cricket Coffee Company. Cricket Coffee Company. Go, go and buy mm. them. Go and buy them. They sound fantastic if you like whiny tones. Mm. So, tomorrow, <laughs> tell me, are we going to do it? We're going to do the job? Yes. I'm going to go in confident because that's what I feel like we need. Although, I'm, I just don't want to talk about injuries, but we're going to have to, I guess. Mark Woods a doubt or is he out? Mark Woods a doubt. Milan is. Yeah. Oh, that's fine. Oh. Also, like Milan, if he didn't come in at three, he was like, well, I'm not playing anyway, so <laughs> I'll just go put my feet up and get some cricket coffee, whatever. <laughs> uh, well, our boy Phil Salt, right? Yes. Friend of the show. He'll be, he'll be there, so that's fine. No worries there. No issues there. The only issue is pace bowling for me, because Mark Wood is the, the intangible cricketing. He's just got something about him in a game. Bowls a bit quicker than everyone. He's so hot right now. He is so hot right now. Actually, I was asking a question the other day if there was a cricketer you'd want to send in the jungle. Mm. And a lot of people say Mark Wood Mark would Wood. just be so funny. Do you think um, this is. Do you think Mark Wood might be? I know he's like. I know he's a likeable lad and he's jovial and it's nice. Do you think it might be a bit much sometimes? I, I like I like the idea because he's teetotal as well. He's very squeaky clean. He bowls wheels. He's won the World Cup. Maybe I just sit there thinking I'll never be good enough. You know, he's he's funny, energetic. People like him just mm. by talking to him. Is that normal? He's also quite easy on the eyes. Oh, mm. okay. But imagine being his teacher at school. You would just be. I just. But it was a nightmare. There you go. Well done, Mark Wood. You might have everything in the world, but your teacher at school probably hated you. So there you go. Honestly, can you imagine him in like a, in a, you don't know, Pythagoras, you go, 
But why do we need to learn this? It's <laughs> like you're Jordan. <laughs> I sort of got a bit lost there and I was like, what am I saying? How am I saying it? Uh. Why do you need to learn this? Why hey. do you need to learn this? There you go, there you go. Nailed it. When so. am I going to use this? <laughs> Man. <laughs> so yeah, I guess I guess Jordan will come in for the annoyingly good-looking, funny, and quick bowling Mark Wood. He needs what is it? I can't help it. I'm just really, really ridiculously good, good looking. Yeah. Do you ever think there might be more to life than just being really, really ridiculously quick at bowling? I mean, I can't say I've ever been on that, so I can't. You're not not let go of one particularly quickly. Not, not <laughs> yeah, no catapulted it. Uh, so yeah, dream scenario for the final then. England versus Pakistan at the MCG. It'll be a sellout. We don't need all the Indian fans buying the tickets. That's fine. Um, so just, yeah, just just the ICC. So you've got that idea in your head so you know who should win the toss tomorrow. Not saying that there's any double-sided coins involved or, or any sort of foul play. But what do you think is the key for England tomorrow? Like, you know, there's something you go into it and you're like, this has to happen and then we're going to do it. Uh, apart, well, mainly vibes have to go into the game full of vibes yeah. um, and I feel like we will just because India have all the pressure on them. The expectation I don't think is for this England side to win tomorrow because match conditions, old wicket, um, you'd almost say the form side with Sky and the way he's batting coming into the game, India. India are set up to be a T20 cricketing giant and little old plucky England going into the game tomorrow stand little to no chance really coming up against the giants of the IPL and Indian cricket. So I think we just ride the wave of being the most vibesy side in the tournament besides Pakistan and trust in the process of vibes that both the vibesy sides will get to the final. Okay, so Pakistan have dill. Yeah. What herb <laughs> would England be? That's legal a great herb. Legal herb, yeah, yeah. Christ, yeah. Not too, not, too, not too vibes. I because I'd throw us in probably as like coriander. <laughs> because a lot of people hate us because they're just because of they don't actually hate us but you know people say oh i hate coriander because that's, that's the thing to say yeah. it I is one yeah, no i agree with that yeah it's nice and it is one thing you're right i never really thought about it but yeah it's true it, people hate england don't they just because we're england yeah. yeah i don't get that vibe of pakistani fans i get that vibe of indian fans and australian fans um and why i don't know i've never really met a zimbabwe fan apart from you yeah i mean great bunch of people they, they, yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> but I was also thinking, like, they just pulled out, pulled it out of the bag. Like, Raza was just, what was he doing? It was insane. Um, like, I was thinking earlier, I'm gonna have to go out and pick my associate eleven. Mm -hmm. I think at oh, some nice. point, which yeah. I quite, you know, do that. And like, Scotland obviously didn't make it through this far, but they're still in there. You see, Scotland, you're Mark, what one Dutch. through eleven? Yeah, exactly. So, have a think about your. Um, associate, associate 11, 11. I will and yeah. I won't be picking the Zimbabwe kit because as with everything in life if you tell me I have to like it I'll instantly dislike it um, which is probably a recurring theme over the last few days and twice on this podcast now with Mark Wood and, uh, <laughs> and the Zimbabwe kit but so we're there now deal deal Pakistan Pakistan's in the bad made the final Vibes in their way to a World Cup win, as hopefully are England. Going to beat India tomorrow comfortably. Don't worry about Kohli. Don't worry about Sky. But everyone's favourite segment and why they keep coming back to this podcast is get in the bin. Now, is there anything or anyone you'd like to tell to get in the bin today? I mean, other than people sending me death threats, they can get in the bin and they can go in the incinerator. <laughs> or you can get in that really gross the food bin oh. and you can just sit in there maggoty that's got, not even the bin i, I appreciate that you separate your your food waste as well well done because sometimes you. i can't be bothered all no. my coffee grounds go in there and everything even yeah. from the cricket coffee company <laughs> exactly no free showers um. <laughs> other coffees are not available uh, because yeah. anyway not um who else can get them oh you know who really wrangles my wrinkles mm. and i have a lot of wrinkles only at 28 and that's too much sun in that year I spent in Australia when we lost to five minutes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Terrible times. Yeah. You know, but you have to narrow it. down the year. That was, was 13, 14. Yeah, I was there. I was mm. there. Yeah, yeah, bad times. Mm. Anyway, is okay, I'm all for stewards being there doing their job. We hate it when they what we're trying to say? Deflate the deflate yeah, the bar. We hate that. Yeah. But it's when they are in front of the sight screen. You've been at enough cricket surely by this point that you're not gonna like meander around in front of the sight screen and Kane Williamson is there like, uh, 
Excuse me, I can't, I'm trying to... Hey, excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me, eh? Hey? Get out the get way. Get yeah, out yeah. The way. Get out the way. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, Kane Williamson is telling you to get out the way of the sight screen. The entire cricket-watching nation of Pakistan today is like, oh, hello. And then all the New Zealand sheep are going, bah. You know, this is a bad move. Get out the way. Get out the way of the sight screen. It's called that for a reason, you know? And you're at the game, you've been there long enough. It's not even like the first balls and you're still finding your... St- and then, just for good measure, you're in like fluorescent yellow anyway. So, h- go away, get no, out of the way. It's shit house. it's absolutely shit out. Stewards, learn your job. And um, that's, that's the world over. It's yeah. not just Australia, it happens absolutely everywhere. And, and it's always the same camera shot of the bloke just looking fucking clueless walking across. You're at a cricket game. Yeah. Oh, I, I do feel, okay, I do feel for them though when... I don't know, sometimes it's maybe, they're probably not cricket fans, it's when they're sat and the cricket is literally behind them and they're sat like this. And there's like all this stuff going on behind and I'm like, oh my God, oh! (laughs) And I'm trying to like rile up the steward to be like, oh, you're missing so much! Look how excited I am! And they're just sat there like... They can't be fans, they can't be fans. You talk to some stewards and they're fans, but some of them just... But they can get in the maggoty bin. There you go, lovely. I think, well, I mean, I've, I've got a quick get in the bin, and that's just to the ICC. Uh, I've done that a couple of times okay. on this. Sorry, sorry. No, the ICC are great. They are. They're great. They organise cricket fantastically, and the broadcasters they choose are excellent. But if you're going to let Australian cricket put out two used wickets for semi finals, you can get in the bin. This is supposed to be a showpiece event and England should flat track bully their way to the final against all of those other useless cricket playing countries. God, I, 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 I've dug myself a lot of holes the last few days quite aggressively. Yeah. But it's fine. It's fine because I have, I have people who, who know that I don't take things entirely seriously on TikTok. Um, so, so hopefully they'll stick up for me. I don't know. I, I like to think not too many people take too much of TikTok too seriously. I look like the man from the lovely bones in my glasses. So <laughs> it's about 25 degrees in here and I'm wearing a beanie as well. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's a fair point yeah, too. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but you know what? We ride with it because that's the fun of cricket and social media that it's brought us all together in such a lovely way. That's actually Other weird. than um, perhaps the death threats. But we don't get those on TikTok, so it's fine because TikTok people are nicer They're than nice. hashtag cricket Twitter. Yeah, they are. They are. And, uh, and as, so, so I suppose it's a nice way to finish, actually, because that was actually really sentimental and nice. And that doesn't happen too often here because Tim's a bastard. So... If only because it's my first time, I'm really hoping you guys don't hate me. <laughs> no, I love, love you. I love you. I love you. Thanks to everyone for watching, listening. If you're tier one, you know what to do. You're going to like, you're going to comment, you're going to subscribe, you're going to unsubscribe and then subscribe again. Don't ask me why, but it just helps. Thank you so much, Georgie, for coming on, stepping up um, and doing a better job than Tim ever could, really. And that's because I'm a woman. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Facts. Um, go, uh, go check out Georgie's socials. Thanks for listening again. This has been Fuck the Stats, episode 14. I'll see you tomorrow after a great England win. Find me on Hinge.